Now, let us apply all what we have said about filter to design a low pass filter by using stops. This is required to design a low pass filter for fabrication by using micro strip lights. So, we are not going to use lumped element while using uh, micro strip line stops. Uh, the specification includes cutoff frequency of 4 GHz. So, if cutoff is 4 GHz, an impedance of 50 ohm, and the third order 3 dB equal rebel pass band response. So, we are going to design a chip filter with 3 dB equal rebel. So, by going to the table of the 3 dB equal rebel, and we are talking about the third order. So, this is the third order. So, G1 would be 3.3478, A, G2 would be 0.717, G3 would be 3.3487, and finally G4 would be 1. And we are talking about low bus, so low bus, we are going to start from L, barrel C, series L, and the load. So, this is a lumped element low bus filter prototype. This prototype is for frequency omega cutoff equal 1 radian per second and characteristic impedance equal 1 ohm. The second step is we are going to transform for the impedance and for the frequency. So, by transforming the cutoff frequency is 4 GHz and the impedance is 50 ohm. The value of the impedance will be multiplied by 50. So R source could be 50 and R load could be 50. The value of the inductance would be L multiplied by 50 over omega cutoff frequency and the value of C it would be C over 50 over the cutoff frequency omega C. So by this we obtain the corresponding values. Without using the corresponding values, we can use Richard transformation directly to convert the inductor and the capacitors in series and shunt stops. In this case, we have the equivalent impedance for the inductor would be a short circuit transmission line section. This equivalent to the inductor, short circuit transmission line section. Its length is lambda over 8, lambda over 8 at the frequency 4 giga. And the input impedance in this case it would be the value of L. So Z naught would be 3.3487. In a similar way, the shunt capacitor would be equivalent to shunt open circuit stop of length lambda over 8 and its characteristic impedance or its characteristic admittance is 0.717 so its characteristic impedance is 1 over 0.7117 so the characteristic impedance here is 1 over C2 the characteristic impedance is 1 over C so this is the Richard transformation of the equivalent inductance and capacitance Can be noted here that in this case the series short circuit stop is directly connected to the open circuit stop. 
the open circuit power stop. And this is shielded and this is buried. Effectively, to implement a series transmission line section in micro line, it is very complicated. So it is required to convert it from series short circuit transmission line section to barrier transmission line section. And when it would be converted to barrier, it would be converted to barrier open circuit. And to convert it, we are going to add Prodas uh, transmission line section of length lambda over A and characteristic impedance Z not equal 1, which is the same as the source. So we are going to add transmission line section in the left side and another transmission line section in the right side. In this case, we have a series inductance connected to a transmission line section. So, by Kuroda's identity, we can transfer the series inductance from this side to be a parallel capacitance in the other side. And in a similar way, we can move the series inductance in this side to a barrier capacitance in this side. So by using or applying second Kroda's identity, if we have a series inductance connected to a transmission line section, can be converted to another transmission line section with barrier capacitance. Here the characteristic impedance of the transmission line section is Z2. And the impedance of the inductance is Z1. The transferred transmission line section would be N squared Z1. And the transferred barrier capacitor would be 1 over N squared Z2. Where N squared is 1 plus Z2 over Z1. Z2 in our case is 1. And Z1 here, in our case, is 3.3487. So by applying these ratios, we can obtain the value of N. And from the value of the N, we say that the transmission line section here, instead of being Z1, it would be N squared Z1. N squared, we obtain the N squared as 4.35. So the transmission line here would be converted from 1 to be 4.350. And in a similar way, this transmission line section will be converted from 1 to 4.350. Now, the value of the series inductance here, Z1, would be converted to the other side to a barrel capacitor. And the value of the capacitor would be 1 over N squared, which is 4.35, multiplied by Z2, which is 3.3487. So in this case, the value of Z naught or the value of Z naught would be 1 over n squared Z2. Effectively, it is a value of the susceptance, the value of the impedance would be 1 over n squared z2. Now, the series inductance 
is replaced by a barrel capacitance and the other series inductance is replaced by another barrel capacitance and the different steps are separated by distances L where L is lambda by E this configuration it can now be uh, implemented because we have separation between the stops So this is the final representation of the three barrel stops separated by lambda by A. Now by applying the characteristic impedance Z node equal 50 ohm, we are going to multiply every term of this by 50. So the characteristic impedance of this line section would be 4.35 multiplied by 50 which is 217.5. And this transmission line section is 1.299 multiplied by 50, which equals 64.9. And this 1.405 multiplied by 50, which is 70.3. So we have now the characteristic impedance of the different transmission line sections of the proposed filter. Now, according to the formula, of the trans microstrip lines, we can find out the width of the microstrip lines which correspond to this characteristic impedance, and from the effective uh, dielectric constant, we can obtain lambda guide, and from lambda guide, uh, the length here would be lambda guide over 4 at the frequency 4 gigahertz. That's what we are going to do. We are going to calculate the width of the line for each characteristic impedance. Here, the characteristic impedance 217.5 has this small width. This characteristic impedance of 70 ohm has this width. And this characteristic impedance of 64.9 has this width. And finally, the characteristic impedance of the transmission line 50 ohm has this width. It can be noted here the advantage of using Richard's transformation and Crowder's identity. In Crowder's identity, we have moved the first stop and the third stop from the second stop by a distance lambda by a. We have converted the first stop and the third stop from series uh, short circuit transmission line to be uh, barrel uh, open circuit transmission line. So open circuit transmission line can be implemented for microstrip line by adding the simple microstrip line section like this. Uh, it can be noted that. Similar procedures can be used for band stop filters, but Crowder's identity are not useful for high bus or band bus filters. So, it is suitable for low bus filters and band stop filters basically. Uh, other types for impedance and in admittance uh, transformation will be discussed which can be used for high bus and bus band bus filters. Now this is the behavior of the design filter. We can see that this is a distributed element behavior and this is a corresponding lambda element behavior. It can be noted that the distributed element behavior is quite close to the lambda element behavior until omega cutoff. But at greater than omega cutoff, 
distributed element is different from the lumpic element. And because we have the cutoff frequency at frequency equal 4 gigahertz, we have a bull at 8 gigahertz. So exactly at 8 gigahertz, we have a bull, which means that we have infinite uh, power insertion loss at omega equals to omega cut. In addition, if we see the behavior, we can see that this behavior is exactly repeated starting from 16 gigahertz. So at 16 gigahertz, which equal 4 omega c, we have the same behavior once again. So the distributed element filter, this is the distributed element filter, has a sharper cutoff frequency. And it is noted that the distributed element filter has a response that repeats every 16 GHz. This 16 GHz is effectively 4 omega c as a result of the periodic nature of Richard's transformation and Huda's identity. Okay. So, in this video, we have seen how to use all the theory that we have discussed to implement a microwave filter by using distributed element based on open circuit uh, stops.